Yeah, I, I had to think about that. I'm not sure. Okay, no problem. Um, well, if you ever do come up with something and uh, maybe make a video on yeah, it. Yeah, or, or I'll, I'll DM cool. you or something if I think of it. Yeah, good points. Rico, uh, so we're taking a, a disagreement. Say, Ricola, what's up? Uh, hey, Jay, can you hear me? Uh huh. All right, so I just had a couple questions relating to. I'm a Catholic, for reference. I have a couple questions relating to pre lust and mortification. Okay. But first, I just have a couple of clarification things. So I saw a clip of your wife supporting like paganism and stuff back in 2016 as she redacted those positions yeah it was before she was received into the church and she didn't support paganism she just was doing an analysis of the archetypal symbolism in different tarot cards she didn't even do tarot cards she was just showing the symbolism in it right so do you think that's spiritually dangerous to do that yeah, I don't promote or say that's a good idea to be into tarot cards, and that's why when she became Orthodox in 2017, when she was baptized, uh, she never she didn't even sell her old book, which had, which had one essay on that stuff. Okay. And so, also, I had a question. So, about debating, you called Taylor Marshall a coward for not debating you. Um, is that correct? Well, I offered many, many times over 10 years to do a debate, and he wouldn't do it. So, yes, I think that is cowardly, but it also depends on the reasons why a person doesn't debate. So, right, the, so do you know his reasoning? I do not, because in the case of Taylor Marshall, we had interactions probably 10 years ago, like blog comments, and I don't, there wasn't any negative, like, you know, nothing mean or anything like that. It's not like, it's not like anybody was cussing anybody out or anything. Yeah, gotcha. It was just a situation where he sort of, I guess just decided that there was, there, there's not, my guess would be that for him, there's probably no motivation to do a debate with me. Like what would he get out of that? Right. Like he, he's doing fine with his audience. He doesn't, there's no need on his part to do it. So it would really only benefit me. And I think that if he didn't do well in that debate, he would have a lot to lose. So I understand the motivations, but um, no, he's never stated why he wouldn't do it. But I've also told that he, I mean, I don't, I don't follow him. So I don't know. I don't even know if he does a lot of debates, but I'm told that he, t he, he does the same thing when other people try to debate that he just simply doesn't do it. So I'm just curious. And by that same logic, 10 years ago, you were a set of a contest and would have agreed with people like Peter Diamond. So why won't you debate him now? As I've stated for many in many cases that I don't think that they operate in goodwill and in good faith. And they've also lodged a lot of threats for people who will in any way try to disagree with them or clip their stuff. So why would I operate in good faith with people who don't operate in good faith? I mean, I guess I'd understand. I, I guess that makes sense, but I don't think you can get mad at people for not debating you when like some of your own bishops would probably say you don't act in good faith. But anyways, I'll, I'll no, I'll hold on, hold on. Question. Which, which bishop said, I quote, don't act in good faith. Now they're, well, I mean, you attack the OCA all the time for, you no, but know, you just said, not yeah, but so what? You just said that a bishop said, I don't act in good faith. Nobody said that. Okay, so but hold on. You, you, you made that claim. Where is that? Doors, you made that claim. Where is that? You made that claim. Where is that? Yeah. So, so Jay, are you, are you honestly going to, you made that, that claim. Like what, what, yeah. what, where is the proof of that claim? Of what claim? That OCA bishop said that I don't act in good faith. Where is you that? You made like three videos where you attacked a ton of people for making like a You said specifically whatever, that the OCA bishop, that you said a bishop has said. Where yeah. is that? Isn't that, that's what, I, I remember I watched a video of yours where there was like a ton of OCA priests who yeah. uh, made So you're here to find, you're trying to find here. dirt. Nobody said that, by the way. Okay. So do you have any arguments about the issues or do you just want to argue about me? No, 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 sure. So, so, now, so now let's talk about the issues. Okay. I wanted to get some clarification. So, no, you didn't want to get clarification. You wanted to try to score a gotcha to make me look bad. I, I know how you guys operate. Not, not are you a set of, are you a set of a, are you a set of a contest? Things about someone on the internet, right? Are you a set of a contest? I'm not a set of a contest at all. Oh, so you just wanted to utilize their stuff for the dirt. No, what I'm asking you is I watched their video on you, right? Not even knowing that they were a set of a contest group at the time. And I'm just trying oh, to... So wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, though. But you, so hold on. So you know that like they don't even operate under any episcopate, right? Yes, I understand. Oh, I'm okay. Not supporting them so they're only way. useful for uh, dirt and drama for you. 
No, I, as I said, I didn't know that they were Sedvik Contest when I even watched their video. Well, all you've all that. you've brought so far is dirt and drama. That's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm okay, saying. Well, is it? I'm, mean, yeah, you just admit it. You you just admit it. It's a very simple yes or no. You question. just know it's like, not. No, it's not. You want me to? No, it's not. Supporting paganism and tarot cards. So I asked about. That. That, right right so you're talking so clips from right? yeah clips from almost 10 years ago right good job okay yeah so again you guys never have anything except Who's dirt and guys? drama you as a trad cat okay why is that funny you, you haven't had because, a you haven't brought a single you, argument do you, you want to actually talk about the issues i mean i was asking you came for you came with no issues because we've been know we've been here you guys are so scummy dude we've been here for three hours talking issues bring your issue okay so let's talk about the concept of pre-lust okay is it spiritually dangerous to pray the rosary it can be because of imaginative prayer so can it not be yeah i think that it's possible that a person could the, the phrases themselves don't necessarily lead to pre-lust but it's bound up with roman catholic spirituality and, and uh, imaginative prayer okay so in what way in the way that uh, ignatian spirituality says it engaged in imaginative prayer what do you mean what, what does way? ignatian spirituality have to do with the rosary it's a dominican prayer it's imaginative prayer is ignatian spirituality yeah exactly but that has nothing to do with the rosary the rosary is not a part of ignatian spiritual tradition. i'm aware of that but it doesn't matter because the there are plenty of catholics who will say use imaginative meditation with the rosary okay, as well and there are plenty of orthodox which you think are ecumenist retards and you completely ignore their opinions so like you saying oh well some catholics so what does this have to do group? none of this has anything to do with the actual dogmatic teachings of your church okay what dogma is spiritual like imaginative <laughs> prayer where is that dogmatized jay it's part of your tradition i don't care if it's a dogma or not but i, I would just said it. You just, you just no i'm it. talking about the, the dog i'm talking about the dogmas i'm saying that this is not even that big of an issue i'm not here I, do you hear me debating the rosary all the time i don't care about no, the rosary I, i've just heard I, I remember i watched a clip of you where you were talking about the rosary and about the sacred heart devotion yeah and every any any time you come to an orthodox church they're going to tell yeah now the sacred heart actually is uh in pius the 12th's letter david did a whole video showing that that is actually part of your papal teaching well, that's not actually the case, but I want to stick on. The uh, you're saying there's not. You're listen, saying that there's. Listen, Jay, you're saying there's not an encyclical about. You're saying no, right? no, no, no. There, you're saying there's not an encyclical about the Sacred Heart. I'm saying I have not read that encyclical, and I'm not. Here uh, to you talk just about said that, that doesn't. Not, I am here to talk you're about it. To change the topic. I'm not changing the topic. You want to? You do, you said Sacred Heart, did you not? I said that's it, the video in which you talked about the Rosary and Ignatian spirituality yeah. in general. Yeah. So this is a better example than the Rosary. Because okay, the, so the you're rosary, that your point on the rosary doesn't make any sense because you said it does make sense. When it's it's not a, the rosary is not an issue of dogma in terms of imaginative prayer, but it's a practice that your church cultivates, and it's a okay, it's so a practice. Define imaginative to prayer for me. How does the how does the spirituality of the Roman Catholic Church define it? You're saying that it's not part of your spirituality. No, I'm asking you to define it for me so I know what you're talking it's, about. It's, it's for example, when uh, Alfonso Segori encourages you to imagine yourself in various situations, such as burning in hell and so forth. Does he do that? He does. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So that's imaginative that's prayer. Dogma. Like again, it do doesn't. I, I'm not. I want to talk about the dogma. dogmas. It's just a I want to talk about the dogmas. Okay. So, so I don't that's base. Fine. That's a manifestation of your dogmas. So I don't okay, care. So I don't is, care is about all this. Imagination bad in prayer? Did I say that? Well, no, I'm, I'm asking clarification because I don't understand. I want to talk it. about the, I'm sorry that you don't understand it. So, but I want to talk about the sacred heart. So you said that it's, <laughs> so now why are you laughing? You brought, yeah, I am going back to that because you brought it up, right? Is you said there is, you said that it's, it's not part of your teaching. I said I have not read the encyclical, so I'm not going to make a comment on something that I haven't read. Jay, that seems pretty basic. Well, I would think you would be familiar with something uh, like that, given the fact that you seem to be very knowledgeable on Roman Catholic spirituality. I mean, that's where you're coming from, right? Well, what I said was the video in which you talked about that. I remember somebody linked me that video, and that was in the title. So that's what I remember the video from. I have not read the yeah. encyclical, so I am not ready to take okay. the position. So do you support Sacred Heart? Dude. Like, I, okay, you're so you're not gonna you're not gonna answer any questions about you're not gonna answer any questions about you're not gonna answer any questions about Roman Catholic teaching. You're not gonna. It's part of your. It's not has nothing to. It's part of your tradition. 
Okay, so I don't know every single tradition of the church. No one does. Okay. So is imaginative prayer part of it. So it's, there's nothing wrong with me critiquing it. It doesn't have to be dogma for me to critique it. So every tradition is dogma. It does not have to be dogma for me to critique it. But are you, you are you are you this five dumb? Ago, you keep on saying let's talk about dogma. Let's talk about dogma, and then you're like, well, it's not a dogma. You so. no, I'm saying that the root something like Sacred Heart is part of your dogma, and so I, that's why I'd rather talk about that because look, the the phrases of the Rosary themselves, there's nothing inherently wrong with the phrases that you recite because most of it's from the scriptures. Okay. Okay, so to clarify, what is harmful about imaginative prayer? What does it do? Because of the harmful? tendency towards prelest, and that's why it's never been part of the Orthodox what does that tradition. Mean, Can you explain that? You know what? I, I, wait a minute. So you've been listening for all these years, and we've done countless. I haven't. I haven't. I didn't know you existed until a month ago. Okay, but so, and that's why you took, yeah, and so you went to a bunch of people that you don't agree with, set up a contest to find all the dirt, right? I watched his video. I've watched a couple of your videos. Again, I didn't know about you or these set of accountants people or any of these people because I didn't really engage in YouTube theology. So I don't know. Right, so the reason for are. this is that imaginative prayer is based on a different anthropology. So orthodoxy believes in a triadic view of man, body, soul, and spirit, spirit being the noose. And the noose exists for us to have direct face-to-face -face communication and relationship so with God. Right, let me finish. Direct communication with God. So the intellect, which is good, and it has a, a its place in our human psychology, it's not the highest faculty in man. In the Roman Catholic tradition, the way it developed after August, uh, Augustinianism took precedence, man became a duality, primarily where he was viewed as body and soul, and soul was basically identified with intellect. We can see this in the Summa, for example. That's why your church doesn't teach body, soul, spirit, or noose. So noose has a, it's a faculty that we have that's for direct knowledge and communication with God. It's an orthodox teaching. It goes all the way back to the Cappadocians, to the uh, Philokalia. It's in all of our spirituality, and it's not present in the Roman so Catholic. It's not in the, it was never in the Western Fathers. You will concede that? Uh, it's in Benedict of Nursi. It talks about the uncreated energies and seeing the, the uncreated light. Okay, could you, could you send me that? I, I don't really believe you. I don't think that's true. This is well known. He's Benedict and Nursia okay. cited as seeing the uncreated light. So, so you, th so what you think? I just make this up. I mean, I think you deliberately misrepresent church fathers for your own the sake. Of your who, who, when? Who did I misrepresent? Uh, well, I, like I said, until you present evidence for this, you can't just claim all of this. And so, it's well cited in the literature. We covered the literature for years here. Okay. Well, my bad. I haven't watched, you know, years of your video. To well, then how are you in a position? Okay, so how are you? No, how are you in a position? Get... How are you in a position to say that I'm dishonest with the church fathers if you're not familiar with my work? I'm in because based on what I have seen of you, you deliberately misrepresent the various and, things. And get said. what? And what, what? Like what example? Okay, please let me ask. You me haven't given an example. What's the example? You keep. Never really you keep made. making claims. What's the example of this? Okay, Jake. Can I please ask my question? No. You cannot, because I want to know the example of where I misrepresented the church father. You say, I keep doing this. I mean, where? I, okay, okay. Where? So, where? I think I think you misrepresent Augustine where? a lot. Where? I mean, do you want me to... I, I'm on my phone. I can't pull up articles or... Well, you should at least be able to say what theological point I missed. What did, what did, what did I say that he was wrong about? Yeah, so you made a claim um, that he was wrong about... I mean, obviously you disagree with him about original sin. Uh, you disagree with him about okay. his interpretation. And where did I misrepresent what he was saying? Uh, where did... Because, well, I just said that you, you blatantly disagree with what he says, and I think you So disagreeing with him means I misrepresented him, in your dumb mind. Uh, disagreeing... No, disagreeing with him when you're citing him as an authority on one thing and not an authority on something else is pretty silly, Jay. That, that literally made no sense. So you said yeah, I misrepresented so Augustine. You, you, opinion, dude, you can't even follow through with what you're saying. Thing, but then say, oh, well, his opinion on this other issue that I disagree with him on doesn't matter at all. That's that so you're just saying general things. You're giving no specifics. I'm happy to address the specifics. For example, in On the Trinity, when he says that there are no theophanies in the Old Testament, I think it's book three, he says it's angelic manifestations. Do you agree with that? I don't know. I haven't read that passage. No, I don't. Whoa, whoa. So have you read on the Trinity? On the Trinity? I, I don't know. I'm not in a place. To so, oh, but you, but you know that I've misrepresented him because you haven't read it. So you're a liar. You don't actually know okay. what you're talking about. Jay, I mean, you why do you keep saying my name? 
You said that I lie and misrepresent the church fathers. You've yeah. not read the works, so you're not in a position to say that. I have. I have read several. You just said I haven't read the, the ones that we're talking about, the the works of Augustine. You just said I've not read on the Trinity. That's not what I said. What did I, when did I say you haven't read anything about the Trinity, Jay? What are you talking I about? I said you just said I've not read on the Trinity. You. You as in you. I never said. No, no, no. You. I never said that you haven't read anything. No, I'm not talking about me, dummy. You. You have not read on the Trinity. Yeah, and I didn't come here to debate that. That's not what I just well, said. Well, then you're not in a position to... You you are debating it. You, you said that I misrepresented him. You're not in a position to yeah, say that. I, I didn't... Did I talk about the Trinity, though? Was that one of the examples I gave? On the Trinity is a book, dummy. On the Trinity is a book. The book. It's a title of a book. I'm not talking about yes. the Trinity. Yeah, Jay. When it's unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable. St. Augustine on the position of original sin, You have not read the book, and so you're not in a position to say it. Yeah, I didn't talk about the Trinity, though, Jay. You did. Do you think? Do you realize that on the Trinity is about a bunch of things like theophanies? Yes. That's why I brought it up. Yes, but the thing is, is you're citing a passage from that book that has nothing to do with the topic that I brought up. I'm inter- It is part of the topic you brought up because it's one of the... the it is because I talk about it in Augustine as a problem all the time. I harp on it all the time. Okay, so you can bring up an objection that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about if you want. It has everything to do with what you're talking about. You're a liar, dude. Why do you guys lie? Do you, you guys are such freaking liars. It has everything to do. It has everything to do. It has everything. You can't. Where have I represented him? You can't say it has everything to do with what we're talking about. You've not read the. You haven't read the freaking book. You're not in a position to say it's not accurately represented. You're such a liar. Okay. I mean, again, have you, you read the book? Discount, you can discount the opinions. You tell me the, Church the opinions in the Catholic Church. So again, nothing to do with what we're talking about. You tell me what Augustinian works you've read, and let's go to them. What have you read? Here we go. Saying my name, he can't say anything he's read. Let's go to. Do you want to go to City of God? Do you want to go to City of God? Yes, sure. I've read that work. You have. You read all of City of God. Yeah, at one point I I read it. Yes. Okay. All right. And what does he say about, uh, for example, Christ's presence in terms of how he relates to all human nature? Do you think that all human nature will be resurrected? Wait, wait. wait. So, Jay. So, is this like? I'm you asking you specifically. Well, you've read the book. Is, you interrogate people because you don't want to answer questions about positions. I already answered your dumb questions earlier. Now I want to know no, no, about you. About you made the claim. No, I'm. I don't let you. I don't. I don't let you. I don't let you make claims that you can't back up. So no, okay, you don't. So can we talk about prelist as a theological concept? Not until I get the idea okay. that you are clear. Not until you interrogate me about every single Well, everything that I've interrogated you about, you have been completely, you, you haven't had an answer to. An answer to what? You, you said you read City of God, and I'm asking you if Augustine teaches that Christ is united to all human nature. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know oh, what you said okay. on that. But you read the book. I, sure. Yeah. Okay. Believe it or not, Jay, you can. It is possible. What's to what does the first half? What does the what does the right. first half of City of God deal with? I don't remember. I have no you idea. haven't read it. You would know no. what the first because it's divided into two books. So you're again a liar. No, I'm not, Jay. What does I, the first I, half of the book deal Jay, with? Like, dude. So dude, yeah, just repeat my name. You are not making Roman Catholicism look good. Jay, 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 Because you're not in a position to say that I'm wrong. But I'm not even, I'm not the one who brought up those topics. You did. You said, you're a liar. You said, you misrepresent the church fathers. I asked you for examples. You said Augustine. We go to Augustine. You don't even know what's in the books. That's not even the position that we were talking about. I don't care. I don't, it, okay. it demonstrates that you are in a position to comment on it. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. That's what it demonstrates. You keep saying, I, okay, I okay, okay. Admitted, okay. I admitted in the very beginning that I will not comment on issues other than these topics. That then I'm you're not prepared. To you, then you're not in a position to say that I misrepresent the church fathers. It's very simple. Okay, so I will redact that statement. Now can we talk about free lust? Sure. Okay, so practically speaking, what, is the, what exactly is and isn't imaginative to prayer? The idea that the main faculty of my contact with God 
is the imagination or the intellect is not true. It's against okay, our so anthropology. What is, what is the imagination? Are you going to... Because of the doctrine of the noose. So we have a different anthropology. And that, okay, yeah. that reflects into a different approach to prayer and the liturgy. So if, while I am praying, I am thinking about God, and there's like a picture in my head, is that pre-lust? You're not supposed to engage in picturing God in your head, correct. What does it mean? Okay, so what about words? Can Picturing I, can I words in your head? Of words that come to my mind? The goal of prayer is to unite with the uncreated energies via the noose. Yeah, okay, so I'm asking you, so if, for example... So it is, praying, to right? transcend, okay. it is to transcend the conceptual things. Okay, but Jay, I'm, I'm asking you... A Why do you question? keep saying my name? Like, me and you are the so only I'm ones here. We're the only ones here. And you keep yeah, so repeating my I'm name saying. incessantly. Okay. So what do I, what, if I'm praying, right, is it pre-lust to pray like the words that come into my head or do I have to have a formulated prayer? I don't know what you mean by praying the words that come into your head. So for well, us, so say, uh, you know, prayer, listen, there, there is no pre-written prayer. I'm just praying whatever. Okay, I'm well, about, like, most of Orthodox theology this. is liturgical prayer book prayers okay so when you go okay, to the so service it is pre lust then what's pre lust so it is pre lust if someone were to pray and not have some pre written prayer but rather just say whatever comes to the top of their head that is no you can you can head. you can uh, do extemporaneous prayer that isn't Why? that's imagination jay no that's not what we're talking about with imagination we're talking about logismoi that's what we're talking about Okay, what is that? I'm not familiar with that terminology. So why are you debating me? You don't know any of this stuff. You came here to well, try to own me and debate me. Eastern Orthodox people use. Oh, it's not my fault that you're not aware of these terms. You came here with this attitude trying to dig up dirt and own me. No, you came here with all these claims. You came with all these you're, claims. You're using terminology only... It's not my fault you don't know the terms. I'm sorry. What? Uh, how is that my fault? Well, I mean, yeah, sure. It's easy for you to say that when you've converted back and forth like four times. Yeah, you know... Oh, here we go again. Not all people right, so, so I, I'm a piece of shit. So you got it. What do you, What else do you want? That's why are you talking to me? I'm asking you about... Why are you talking to me? specific question. I, I'm not interested in engaging you anymore because all you have is okay. the low blows when you're shown that you're a complete moron and you don't know anything about what okay. you're talking about. I mean, all right. Uh, if you don't want to discuss pre list that's fine. Uh, you know, I, yeah, I be, because I, I give you the terms and you say, what is that? What is yeah, that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Why didn't you just you, come? Why didn't you, you come to me? And, why didn't you come to this discussion in good faith? I mean, it's like you're completely. I I, I'm no, you're not. It's. I can't decision. figure out if you're bad willed or just really dumb. I asked you to define a term that you used, and you called me an idiot, Jay, and said that I'm not. Because your whole approach this. was ridiculous. Do you do you I'm not see why? What a term means that you used because Catholics you didn't Catholic do that didn't you didn't do it. that you came here with a bunch of insults and dirt and then what then insult? I never insulted oh, you, you never just said you changed your religion like four times you're trying to insult me dude with yeah, your soy you're voice trying to parade around like you know the catholic and the orthodox terms not all people uh read oh wait, hold on hold on so hold on so so really is you're mad that i know these things so that's the root no, of it that's not true you're an envious I, you're an envious soy man true. I mean, again, so hold on. So you're saying that you're saying I parade around. You're saying I parade around. I parade around. I parade around and don't know these things. Is that what you're saying? I'm humble enough, Jay, to say that. You're not humble at all. Nothing. You are the definition of a virtue signaling victim soy man. You're not. You're not humble at all. You're the opposite of humility. You got wrecked because you didn't. Know. I don't have to. Tell. It's not my. So I. So a debate is me defining terms for you. A debate. A term yeah, 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 yeah. It says yeah, debate. What does the title? What does the title say? What is the title of what? This this Twitter space. Um, like debating God, Catholic, atheist, Protestant, Muslim versus Orthodox. Yeah. So you came to a debate, and you want me to define a bunch of terms for you after you brought a bunch of so-called dirt and drama that was I all bullshit. You to define one term. You guys are scummy. For me. That's not what you did. You came with 10 questions about dirt and drama first, didn't you? Yeah, because... Yeah, because that's scummy. Jay, that's because Jay, you guys are scummy. Jay, that's why. Jay, Stop I saying my name. To those you, online. Dude, you, you, you can't find answers to what Logi are online. Do you not know how to use no, Google? I can't get answers to the questions right. about like, whether or not 
Not your wife is a we will, yeah. So that's all you have. You guys are, you guys are freaking demons, dude. Um, Just scum. So what happens? He's mad because, so he comes with prepackaged dirt. Five or six questions about dirt. He could Google the word prelest. Ortho Wiki comes up with what prelest is. And all that was was a way to try to make me look bad. That's all that. I hope everybody sees that. So you're so why are you getting mad at it? Because I know this scummy approach of trad cats. This is all they ever do. And isn't it interesting that they do the exact same name repeating? He didn't want to talk about any theology or any dogma. He wants me to define prelest, define logismoi for him. He could go look any of those things up easily. And he wants to kick, he wants to lead off with, is your wife a witch? So stupid. Go look it up right here. And then you notice throughout the conversation, the envy actually comes out, right? The bad faith envy comes out where he says, I haven't read all these things. I don't know. I've read City of God. I don't know what's in it. Anybody remotely familiar with City of God would know that the first half of the book, okay, the first four or 500 pages, is about the history of the Roman Empire and its relationship to paganism with a bunch of classical citations from classical mythology and classical authors. The second half of the book is the history of the church, the City of God. So he just spilled out that he was nothing but soy envy and his rage and cope and envy was the real motivation for why he did all that. So his, his approach, and this is a big problem in the religious sphere, is all of these passive-aggressive virtue victimhood signalers. Read the dark triad paper that we just covered yesterday. That guy is an exemplification of the dark triad as a victim virtue signaler. You parade around like you've read all this stuff and you just define it for me. I'm the victim as I talk about how you have a bunch of dirt in your closet. Everybody in this stream can see that that was pure scumbaggery. And yeah, that's why I call you out as scumbag. And the whole chat, he was oozing soy. Absolutely. Freaking scumbag. Yeah, you gonna you come on a, a stream and start start talking about my wife is a lich and why did you do this ten years ago? I mean, did none of that has anything to do with the actual issues? Then it's well, just want you to find the words for me, even though you misrepresent the church fathers. When did I misrepresent the church fathers? Augustine. Uh, so let's give some examples. I don't know. I haven't read these things. 